Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined. Hey Virgo, how you doing? How was everything today? I pray that you guys are having a good weekend. I'm here to give you your weekend message, Virgo. Remember, it's a general message. So it may or may not resonate. Take all readings how they resonate, beautiful Virgos. Okay, I love you. God bless. Archangel Michael, can I get some messages for the beautiful sign of Virgo? Virgo, over our energy, six of coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, okay? I'm hearing it's about love, it's about trust, it's about honesty, and that's the way it's supposed to be, unconditional love, okay? Yep, unconditional love. Okay, you may love that song, Virgo, that's by High Five. Six of coins, and we got Scorpionic energy with the death card. Yeah. Spirit is saying it's time that you, you know, make sure that you're given equally balanced in any partnership or relationship that you partake in, Virgo. Sometimes people will take and take and take from you until there's nothing left. And by you being a Virgo with the kind, generous heart, you know, people may try to take advantage of you. Spirit says, you know what, it's time to wake up to that and, you know, reevaluate people that are in your life. Reevaluate people in general, okay? But just, you know, make sure that people are not just using you. For financial reasons, sexual reasons, you know, emotional fulfillment, whatever, okay? I'm hearing this Scorpio may have been, um, you know, projecting a powerful image onto you, Virgo, or, you know, projecting like they had it like this or had it like that. Now, this person doesn't have to be a Scorpio, but, you know, a, a true unconditional relationship is about give and take, okay? It doesn't matter what kind of relationship it, it is. It's about balance, okay? It's not about one person giving everything and, and another person taking everything. Okay, we got the devil, okay? Capricorn energy. Death card next to the devil. That's very, very serious energy. Very serious. And we got the two of coins, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Yeah, somebody may be playing you, Virgo, trying to manipulate your mind. Trying to make you, you know, make you unbalanced and feel, um, you know, somebody has been playing some manipulative mind games here. Trying to make you feel like, you know, maybe some, some, somebody here is trying to play some sort of mind game to make you feel like you're obligated to help them or obligated to be their friend or their lover or their spouse, okay? This is, this is effery and trickery, okay? What's the six of coins? Six of coins? Six of coins. The world, okay? The world. Yes. It's very likely that you ended a relationship or a friendship or connections with some people that have uh, been despitefully using you, manipulating, my effing you to get what they want from you. Ruth, I'm hearing ruthless. You were dealing with someone or some people that were ruthless and manipulating users. Okay? They only wanted to take, but they never wanted to, you know give back or you know give any equal balance here okay we got the ace of swords spirit says that's the truth you may have ended out a connection once again or connections with people that have been viciously manipulating you conning you you may have failed for some you may have been involved or unbeknownst to you got caught up in some sort of ponzi scheme someone may have you know tried to steal money from you okay someone may have stole money from you you may have uh, fell for some sort of scheme where you invested a lot of money and, and it's, it was it was all a scam, okay? Some, this probably was someone close to you as well, Virgo, okay? Yeah, we got the Page of Swords. Yep, someone was certainly watching you, trying to see, you know, the best, the best way that they could come in and use and uh, prey on you. Because I'm hearing the word prey on you. Yep. Wow. Yes, we got the chariot on top of the page of swords. So that's Cancerian energy. So this could be a Cancerian Aquarius. Uh, I got Capricorn, Taurus, another Virgo. Wow. Spirit also wants you to be aware of this upcoming week that there is somebody that's possibly coming to see you or you may run into someone and this person may have extremely bad intentions, Virgo. Just pay attention to you know, what this person has to say or what this individual has to say or even what this organization has to say, okay? 
you may you may get somebody may have tried to steal your identity virgo someone may have stole your identity yeah someone may someone may be out here using your identity okay for the upcoming week spirit wants you to be careful okay be careful of giving any financial information out to anyone for the next two weeks virgo okay be keep your keep your financial um, information top-notch secret okay if this is not a close relative or someone that needs to know your financial information just don't tell anyone okay people are out to scam use manipulate lie and get what they can get out of a lot of people out here and you don't want to be on the receiving end of a scammer virgo okay we got the ten of swords is going to leave you feeling hurt okay yes you may you may have you may be feeling hurt because a relationship with someone that you thought that had the potential to go somewhere it actually it didn't manifest into much because you found out that this person was a deceitful liar once again they used you virgo they only wanted whatever resources you had to offer whether this be sexually financially you know just use you for your moral moral support you know your mental stability virgo so you ended out a relationship or a friendship with someone that was just straight up toxic this person may may have suffered or may suffer from multiple addictions. I'm hearing pornography, okay, sex addiction. This person is into torture. They're into bondage. They're into candle magic, I'm hearing. I'm hearing mastermind manipulator. So this was someone that was very deceitful, okay, very, very dangerous. This is someone that may have even, you know, tried to keep you stuck and tied to them through spell work. You know, once again, blackmail. You know, black magic, emotional, emotional manipulation. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing I'm hearing a windfall. You may have come into a lot of money, or you may be getting ready to come into a lot of money, Virgo. And there may be people out to you know, lie, scheme, do whatever it is to get their hands on your finances. So please keep, you know, keep your financial information top notch top notch secret. Any information, just be more selective and careful who you give your information out to. You know, some people are going to target you for your financial stability, your wealth, your assets, Virgo. Okay. We got the Eight of Swords. We got the Eight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Yeah, yeah, you may be all in your head about how could you be tricked and fooled and deceived by this person when they appear to be someone that you thought you can trust. If you haven't been in this energy, Virgo, this is what's going to happen if you let this person in, if you open up, if you give them too much information. Okay, this person is going to learn you. They may be studying you as we speak to try to find your weakest area to get you to let your guard down so they can continue to manipulate you and to, and you know, ultimately to get into your bank account information. Okay, I'm hearing, I'm hearing um, Bernard Lafferty. I think he was Doris, Doris Duke or Doris Day's um, beneficiary on her, you know. He was her power of attorney. If you don't know who Doris Day is, go research her. Or Doris Duke. She was a, a billionaire hair, um, heiress who inherited a lot of money from her father. And in the end, you know, she was manipulated and, you know, deceived by a lot of people that she thought she could trust. Okay. What is the devil in the Page of Swords? Yeah, you don't. Okay, we got some good news coming in with the Page of Wands, though. Okay. Yeah, the good news is you freed yourself from this kind of individual or individuals or even an organization that you may have been involved in, okay? But this person may call you. I, once again, Virgo, I'm picking up on the energy of you need to be very, very careful in the next couple of weeks of being deceived by by people that are putting on good fronts. You know, they may call you. They may they may appear to be fancy, wealthy. They may, they may appear to have a lot of money. They may appear to be, you know, affluent. You know, intelligent, articulate, someone that's on your level, Virgo. But in the end, this is a deceiving snake. So spirit wants you to be on, be, be careful on the, and be on the lookout, okay, for anyone that's coming in or trying to enter your life in the next two weeks, because this person is entering your life or this people, or this organization, okay. You get scam calls. Don't 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 accept any unwanted phone calls or scam calls, Virgo. Okay. I keep hearing Ponzi scheme. We got temperance. Your guardian angels are with you and they are always protecting and watching out for you. Okay, this may be a Sagittarius. It may be a Leo. Okay, yep. It may be a Virgo. What, whoever this person is or whatever this situation is in the next couple of weeks, just keep your distance and be 
use the scar um uh, I'm hearing be discreet and use sound judgment, trust your intuition and pray about it. Anybody coming into your life under any, you know, I just got for this particular reading I got a bad feeling that, you know, there's somebody that's trying to come into Virgo's life appearing to be one way, but in, in the end they're really a snake, okay? Chemistry. Wow. Yeah. You may have some explosive chemistry with this individual. They may overpower you with their charms and physical passions of love, Virgo. But in the end, this is someone that is doing. This is someone that has done this in the past to others, and you know they're just going to use you. Okay. Yes, you are a very explosive, sexually individual by yourself. Okay, you're ex you're sexually explosive on your own, Virgo. Okay. So this person is going to try to match you. He's going to try to match you. She's going to try to match you. They're going to try to be everything you want them to be to get you to let your guard down so it's easier for them to deceive you. Okay, we got elusive. Yep. Yeah. There's some sort of mystery that's surrounding you currently. We got harmony. Okay. Yep, this person is going to try to make you think that it's all good. It's peaceful. You found someone that you could trust or you found some friends that you could trust. Okay, you're going to get caught up. Don't get caught up in the snare. Spirit says you're better off without this sort of situation in your life. Okay, Virgo, you're better off. Okay. Yep. Final messages for the sign of Virgo. Final messages. Final messages for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, we got the throat chakra. Okay. We got the throat chakra and the page of wands. Certainly. You may get some communication from someone that you haven't heard from in a long time. Or this could indicate that there's some communication issues that you're having with someone that you haven't heard from. Or you're in a connection with someone and you guys are not communicating effectively. Thus, it's, you know, it's interfering and causing you to have issues with your throat chakra. Okay. We got blossom. Yes. You're blossoming, Virgo. I mean, you may have been someone that has had your heart closed off okay you may have been in the energy of being emotionally withdrawn recently or you know you may just have been like that your whole life and your heart chakra is bursting open now don't let anyone take advantage of that that loving kindness that you offer naturally others Virgo there are there are people out here that will you know try to turn your heart cold and that has turned your heart cold and now that your heart is starting to open back up to love and the possibility of, you know what, there's actually some decent humans around. <laughs> Don't let no one, you know, destroy that. We got shine. You're born to shine, Virgo. You are born to shine, okay? And I'm also hearing, don't let no one steal your shine. You may have long red hair, long black hair, or even short black hair, I'm seeing. Okay, Virgo? Yep. Don't be trapped in your mind, too. You may be having obsessive thoughts about someone here or something. Okay, Spirit doesn't want you to think too hard about it. Just pray about it and trust your intuition. Okay, we got the third eye. Trust your intuition. Your third eye is open. It's active. Trust the spiritual, you know, nudges that you feel. Trust the spiritual insight that you receive. Okay, above all else, pray about it. Ask God to show you guidance because he always shows us the way. I love you, Virgo. Have a good day.